Hi, it's me again with Corel Dog Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this logo. It needs a little help. Uh, it's pretty fuzzy. This part is going to be fun and easy. This part, uh, Corel just does not trace fonts very good. But that font is really close and for the person I'm doing it for, you'll even search. So we just need to change a couple of the letters like the C and the T and take away that part. And so they're actually uh, really pretty easy. But this, to me, is garbage when it traces because you can see it's got rounded corners and there's some things we could maybe try to clean up with this. I'm going to go to object and group and ungroup this because it is traced. I'm going to go in and take this and I'm going to go left click, right click. Whoa. And you can see the line pointage. It's because it's a fill. So we could quite possibly clean this up without, nah, you know, if you look, it's pretty bad. So let's try this. Let's take a rectangle about the size of that and just kind of stay right. Okay, for the person I'm doing it for, I'm changing your, I'm going to click on your pen tool. I'm going to get graphic. I'm going to turn it to hairline and I'm actually going to turn it to red. Um, I just like drawing in red because especially all hairlines are red. So now we're going to, and, and if you do a draw in hairline, you can see, just see stuff a little bit better. So now what we're going to do is we're going to round off these corners, and there's two ways we could do that. We could take the shape tool and hold down the control button and only do that part instead of doing the whole box. And let's just see how close that is. We're, now we're going to get the, the four-sided cross and move it. And that's pretty much right on the money. So now what I'd like to do is I didn't practice this, so I don't really know how it's going to work, but I'm going to, I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of that while holding down the shift key. I'm going to bring it in and we can move it over in a second. You know, that's not really working. So let's try this. Let's take this box and go up to effects and contour. Contour will give us a better uh, offset. So let's go like 0.5 might be too much, too large. Uh, 0.1, still too large. Oh, this thing is tiny, tiny. Uh, 0 0.01, there we go. So that's too, too much. So let's go 0 0.005 or eight. And we're almost there. Let's go point, point zero zero. I can't remember which direction it was going. Now, we need to go 0 0.7, 0 0.007. In this case, it'd almost be easier to, that's pretty, that's pretty good. <clears throat> now we really need some for this other one. So let's just control, well, we've got to go and go to object and break the contour apart. And then let's grab this box and control D and um, 0 0.007 again. See, that's pretty close. And you can play with that. We can actually, get, let's go a little bit. Let's go uh, 0 .00, uh, 0.0065. See, that's that's what kind of what's wrong with that logo. So now let's go up to object and break the contour part again and grab this one and control D and make a duplicate of it and contour it. Let's go 0 .00. Five, because it's a bigger contour. No, not enough. Now this would be nice if we could go to go to object, break the contour apart, and just kind of manually squish this in. I think holding down the shift key would be the best. And it worked, and then we could just move that over. And there are several ways to do this. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got it pretty well. Uh, I think these lines need to be straight. I'm not going to worry about the T right now. I'm going to take a 
Well, first of all, I need to see if my original logo. Nope. Um, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to nudge that out of the way like 0.5. Take the T. Nudge it out of the way. Take our part of the C and that part of the C. And I'm going to group these together. Control G. And then I can put them back. Because that way I can get rid of them in a second. So if you can see, this has a straight line. So I'm just going to take a two-point line. I uh, always start moving it, then hold down the control button. And just put it like right there. Now control D and make a duplicate. And maybe uh, rotate it 45 degrees. And put it right. See, it might not. You, If you have a better copy of the logo than you sent me, you'll be... Uh, far better off. Now what we can do is take a two-point line and go from like right there to right there and just kind of keep going. <clears throat> and at this time, I would probably just hand draw this T. Uh, there's a couple. Let's do this. Let's move our logo out of the way for a second by just nudging. You know what? I'm going to cut this in half, 0. 0.25, so we don't have to go so far. And we could probably clean this T up. Um, I'm thinking this needs to be a flat line. So let's just take our smart fill tool and fill that in. Uh, we can actually probably move it over here. And let's left click, right click. And let's look at this. And what we need to do is put a node right there and take this node away. So any other node, and then select all the nodes and right click and turn them into a line. See, that's gonna give us that sharpness. I think we're good. Now we could probably take our line, and of course, if you have the logo itself, you might be able to see a little bit better. Let's put that line right there. <clears throat> so now what we're gonna do is just take our Smart Fill tool, let's set it on something other than that per, uh, blue, and I'm going to get that, nudge it over, get that, nudge it over, and get our T and nudge it over. Oh, that line stopped it. Uh, so what we can do is just back up and just nudge our T out of the way and fill it in with black, but take away the outline. Now, <clears throat> if we group this together, I'm going to say you're not going to be able to tell the difference. And look, look how fuzzy versus how sharp. Now, that didn't take very long, so I'm going to ignore it. I'd like to split up my videos. And you could possibly find an, a, a better font that has a, um, you know, rounder, um, C, the other letters I think look good, but this needs to be kind of a round C. Um, yeah, the O looks good. The, everything looks good. So let's do the T first. And all the T is, I'm thinking this has to be a straight line. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to object and break the letters apart. That's still one word. Go up to object, break the troop apart. Take that, and I like working in hairline. <clears throat> and if this is supposed to be a straight line, well, what we're going to do, it's still a text. So what we need to do is go to object and convert it to a curve. And by doing that, we could move this node up. We could move this node over. And if you did it like right on top of the other one, you know if you're you know if you're on now the R we need to convert it to a curve and I'm gonna left click right click and this one's a little bit more tricky and of course you'll if you I, I really wish I had a picture of the real logo if you put like a node there and a node there and then delete that you get that look now that's not the same angle so we want to make sure that is. And those, uh, what we could do is just take our shape tool 
and grab those two nodes and just move them over here for a second. And maybe even, whoop, I grab the two nodes, do that right there, and then grab the two node, holding down the control button, and move that back. Now, of course, you'd want this angle the same angle, <clears throat> and that's a little bit of a problem. But if we will take a line and kind of match it up to that line, and then rotate it to that line, and then just move that line over here. And then if you want it longer, I mean, it's it's hard to say what, because, you know, the letter is so fuzzy. But if you hold down your control button, you can't get off the line. That might, that might be too long. It really looks like in the text that it's, um, these letters are closer together. Now the C, you could quite possibly find a better C, but if you can't, and it all, you know, a lot of it depends on the customer's preference. So I turn that into a curve and I'm just going to, I'm going to draw a rectangle about the size of that. And I'm going to take my virtual sigma delete key and del well, I'm not there yet. Let's take this rectangle and let's, let's move it with the, with the two sided arrow, move it up to that. And we're not really there. This is, that it's good enough for the video. Now, okay, it's still, a, I must not have converted this to a, a curve because you cannot delete. If you ever can't delete something, it's because it's a, and then here, let's, uh, I'm, not even, I'm not even saying this is the best way to do it, but I'm thinking it is. Um, take a two-point line and see, it, it's kind of hard to tell. That looks like it's just straight across. So let's just take a two-point line. I do that all the time. Start moving and hold down the control button. That way it's perpendicular. And take this right here and virtual sigma delete key this. Okay, going back to it's a font. You cannot cut a font, convert it to a curve. Let's get rid of that and get, actually get rid of this and this. And then when we fill this in with black and take this and hold down the control button and maybe even get that same angle as before. Now, it looks funny because that's not a round, not a round C. I'm going to take away that, that line so it'll look a little bit better. Whoop. So if you ever have trouble grabbing something like that, just move it out of the way and then take this, grab that, We'll move it out of the way, delete that. What did I do with the C? Let's back up. There it is. Now just delete all this. And I, I'm not very proud of that because of the fact that it's not a round C. Uh, you could quite, even, quite possibly find that font or something closer just for the C. And I think my H is too tall. So we could grab, I was afraid of that, grab that node and that holding down the shift key and just make it a little shorter, but hold down the control button. Well, it's not really working. But if we fill in this other black letter, now <clears throat> we want that in the same spot so let's group all this together, control G. And I, I physically probably move this. So let's put it right there. I'm not gonna take a lot of time to get it perfect, but then just delete that. And there, well, let's group this together, control G, and put it right on top of the other font. 
Now, you can see the letters aren't perfect, but you know, you could very easily with the shape tool, mine is the black. So let's grab this. This would be the easy part. Go up to object and okay, it's five objects. So let's ungroup. Ungroup this. See, this is still a font, so we can use the shape tool just to move that G, move that R, move that O, move that U. And so I really, I was just off on the size. And you could really tweak that and do all the letters like that. Um, you know, the first two, we did pretty good. Uh, but with it, now I, I probably converted all these to a, to a, um, see the little bitty box. That's what we're wanting to do. And our, say our, like, so our, our letters aren't perfect. And I'm also a little bit low, but I'm going to, I'm just trying to show you. We're pretty good. You know, like this was a little bit big. Well, if you convert it to a, curve and grab well maybe just do it with the pick tool and just make it a little thicker now we can take this other logo hopefully no it's all connected so uh, let's move that down let's just move all the black down this would be a good one for basically find and replace. And if I had grouped that other one together, we'd be well on our way. Now I think I got those deleted. Move that up there. We got one part of the C left. Delete it and move these up. I would really think the customer, you know, send it to him if he's happy with it. Try to find that, you know, you could even start with the letter O. Well, that's not even a good O. Let's try the, let's try a zero. Nope. But a different font. You know, I, I would do a, a uh, just look through your fonts. I'm going to go back to an O. I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to find the font for you, but yeah, that's not, that's not any better, but you know, you know, that's a little bit more of an O. No, it didn't even change it. No, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't change them. Anyway, just send that to the customer, you know, depending on how big it is, this is little bitty. Nobody's ever going to know, and you could quite, quite possibly pull it off. And anyway, that at least gets you a good start on this part. Because that, I would think that's dead on. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.